Hey guys, it's me Jake from JakeMan21642. Today I've got a video for you of this 2019 Mercedes-Benz A220. As you can see, this one is finished off in a polar white exterior, which looks fantastic on the vehicle, especially with the tinted windows that this one has. Outside you can see, this is just a fairly standard A220, but this is still a very nice looking car. Outside, like I said, tinted windows all the way around, which look fantastic. You can see some chrome accenting around your belt line as well as your chrome accented body colored door handles, intelligent entry built into those. You have your body colored mirrors, which are auto dimming, and you do have blind spot monitoring built in there. Up top, panoramic roof on this one, as well as your fuel cap on the driver's side. Around the rear, dual exhaust, you can see your Mercedes and A220 badges. This one does have a rear backup camera, of course. And coming up to this side, this one is riding on the factory Michelin tires. They are the Primacy MXM4s. They are 225, 45, R18s. So 18-inch alloy wheels, rear disc brakes on this one. I mean, overall, for what it is, this is just a great little entry-level luxury sedan. This is also a huge upgrade from the old CLAs. Up front, you can see your LED headlights, LED daytime running lights the somewhat diamond style front grille with your parking sensors and of course your Mercedes badge. Go ahead and get in this one. Does include your typical Mercedes key fob. Lock, unlock, panic, and then press and hold. And it will release the trunk. Go ahead and step in. As I mentioned, intelligent entry. Just walk up, grab the door handle, and it will unlock. And then touch right here to lock. Go ahead, get inside. And as you can see, this one does have the black MB Tex interior, which is in great shape. And to start, just foot on the brake and push right here. Go ahead and close the door and just have the key fob inside the car, and you're all good to go. Once you're inside of this A220, as you can see, this one does have a leather-wrapped steering wheel. Nice and tight power steering. Now, on the wheel are actually most of your controls. So, over here's your adaptive cruise control. This little pad right here will coincide with this cluster, which I'll get to in a second. And then over here, you have your audio system controls and this pad, which will coincide with that display. Very simple to use though, once you get the hang of it, your volume, phone controls, voice commands, things like that. Then behind the wheel, of course, paddle shifters for the nine speed auto, this one is equipped with. Typical Mercedes, all the way down for drive, up for reverse, and then press on the end of the stalk for park. Up top on the door, well, first things first as well too. Kind of nice actually with the dark tint on this one. You can see a little bit of the super cool ambient lighting throughout the interior goes along the dash, along the door panels, even in the centers of your vents. Just so cool at night. But up top on the door, it's all padded material. Padded stitched leather around here. All four of your automatic windows, power locks, power mirrors, storage down below. And then up top, you can see your power seat controls. Typical Mercedes fashion are on the door. Power seat memory, and then your heated seats up here. Over here is your electronic parking brake, your headlight controls, and then you can see your fog lights as well as gauge dimmer too. Down below, you have your trunk release. Dashboard itself is all soft padded material. I mean, very, very nice and high quality. Now, like I said, you do have your cluster in the middle, which is all controlled by right here. I mean, there's different gauge modes you can bring up. You can have your audio system, which is right here, also show up right here. Different media, different designs even. I mean, it's super easy to use, just a super cool system. And then like I said, from over here, this will control that display, which is interesting as well, because this is also a touchscreen. I mean, I own a uh, 2015 E-Class, and coming from that to this interior is so different. But, like I said, your gauge cluster here, this one does have uh, just under 17,000 miles on it. Your tachometer, speedometer, you can even replace these with a clock if you wanted, all kinds of different things. In the middle, this is your new, I think this is still called command, but your new command system. You can go to the home screen, you have your phone, radio, media, all kinds of different settings, um, even different themes, things like that. You can see, experience, lounge, standard. 
so many different things. I mean, I would rather not have a 30 minute video of how to use a touch screen, but so many different things you can do with this system. Below there, your two or your three air vents, like I said, they do have the ambient lighting in the middle. And you can open and close them just like that. Below there are all of your climate controls, which also will show up on the display. Zone for the driver, zone for the passenger, all of your fan speed, um, defrost, everything else down there. Storage up front, and then you do have a USB port, USB-C, as well as a regular power outlet. Which typical Mercedes, you can bring these little extenders out to hold smaller drinks. Back here, you do have your dynamic mode on and off, different drive mode selectors, navigation, radio, media, and then your phone controls over here. Obviously, too, with the audio system, AM, FM, auxiliary in, Bluetooth audio streaming, everything you would expect it to have, and then your volume control right there. Piano black trim in the center, and then behind there, a padded armrest. Storage inside of there, more USB ports. Seats are very comfortable. They're typical MB techs, very high quality, and they look great. Up top, you do have an auto dimming review mirror in this one. Very nice as well. It does have a black headliner, which gives you a very clean look inside. Gives in the shade back for your panoramic roof. Pulls all of your interior lighting controls are up here. And then you can vent or just open it completely. Overall, I mean, just a fantastic place to be inside of this car, and I know, because I'm going to get plenty of comments, I know I've barely scraped the surface with these screens, but wanted to just do a basic overview. Go ahead and step out, unlock everything, and pop the hood right down here. Your fuel cap release is typical Mercedes style. Just walk up press and it will open. Stepping into the rear seat of this one, everything follows from the door material quality wise, padded stitched leather. See stepping into the back seat, same as up front. And honestly for what it is, I mean the CLAs before these did not have a usable back seat by any means, but I'm 6'2 and I can fit back here. The seat kind of has a nice cutout for my knees to go. Very nice, same MB text as up front. Do have an armrest, two cup holders, all of that. You can see your headrests up top, as well as your interior lighting on the sides. And you do get backseat pockets as well. I mean, obviously not a car you would buy as a people hauler, but the backseat is usable. More of your vents down below, same operation to open and close. And also too, I did forget to show, but Another storage compartment, two more USB-C ports. As I mentioned, the dual exhaust down below. And then inside of the trunk, plenty of space in here. Up top, you can see your back seat releases, both your carpet floor mats, and then below all of that, you have your inflator kit, tools, um, everything else. But yeah, honestly, for what it is, a very nice trunk for a little compact sedan like this. And up front, power passenger seat, same controls all on the door. And then the thigh extensions are manual, typical Mercedes. Inside of the glove box on this one, you can see all of your owner's literature, everything else inside of the wallet right there. And then it's all very nice and felt lined. You can see every time I say the word Mercedes, it opens up the voice assistant inside of the car. Up front, your LED daytime running lights. And we'll go ahead, put the headlights on. And you can see your LED headlights. And then under the hood on this one, it is equipped with Mercedes two liter turbo four cylinder. Everything under here is in great shape. It's running fantastic. And this engine too, and this little car with the nine speed, more than enough power. It's actually surprisingly fun to drive for what it is. 
Let me close that. And we'll go ahead, bring the automatic driver's side window back up. Cut it off right here. Move the key. And as always, this vehicle is for sale at Volvo of Richmond here in Richmond, Virginia. If you aren't in this vehicle, please let Volvo of Richmond know you saw this video. Thanks for watching.